Hey guys, welcome back to Cidery from Scratch. Today is episode four of our nightcap series. So as you remember, we're going to taste test a cider. So today we have... Today we have Blake's Hard Cider Co. Flannel Mouth. And then we have something special planned for our round of questions. We actually picked a few questions uh, ourselves and we're going to do kind of like a lightning round. So hopefully that's a change of pace and some fun for us as well as for you guys. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the cider. So what do we have? So as you'll notice, the can is wearing flannel. Yep. Hence the name Flannel Mouth. It's a classic semi-sweet hard cider made in Michigan. Crafted on the Blake's Farm 6.5% ABV. And then I was just kind of looking over a few things here. It's semi-sweet, as I mentioned. They have a little scale here, that's kind of cool. Yep, I like that. And then looking at the ingredients, I've not seen this before. Obviously it's 100% apple cider, but there's also Michigan beet sugar uh, added. So I don't think I've ever tasted anything with beet sugar, so this should be fun. I'm also curious about the color. Uh, maybe beet sugar doesn't actually do anything, but beet juice is like super yeah. purple. So. And the can makes me think this is going to be a red-ish liquid, but I bet it's not. We'll see. Uh, one last thing, it says uh, this is made with Blake's Celebrated Five Apple Blend. Okay, so five different apples. Yep. And we've actually not tasted this one at all, ever. Correct. So. We're just going to see. Uh, Armada, Michigan. Can by Blake's Hard Cider Co. in Armada, Michigan. Okay. All right. Let's taste it. Ooh. Yeah, not the color of beef. It's actually lighter than <laughs> I thought it was going to be. It's a really good carbonation. Sorry, I meant to pour yours first, but. It's okay. Technically, that is mine first. Yeah, definitely. So my thought with flannel, my thought with the color of the can is that it's uh, gonna be like hearty kind of, like I think fall, I could just be thinking lumberjack or something, but I'm thinking uh, fallish, like thicker type. And this was not the color that I thought it was gonna be. To me, it seems like it might be a sweeter cider because you said fall, flannel's yeah. sweeter. We'll see. Definitely has a really good smell. So we're trying to learn how to correctly taste test for you guys. So we know we have to do a lot of sniffing. Do a little shaking around, get the aromas out. I really like the smell. Just smells kind of like apples. Fruity. I'm gonna taste it. Actually, it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. It's it's pretty good. It's uh I, I was originally hit with the dryness, but then a little bit of sweet and then dry at the end as well. Yeah. Uh, very crisp. It's funny, I can't really tell if it's super carbonated or not. I, it doesn't seem like it's really carbonated, but... I'm trying to decide what to, what to say about it. I like it because it's not as sweet as I thought it was. This is our first sweet cider for the Nightcap series, and okay. it's not... Not too sweet by any means. The thing I would just I would say about this is that there's nothing like harsh about it. It's not too sweet. It's not too tart. It's not too sour. It's not too much fruit. Like it's a very balanced is how I would say. Yeah, that's a good way to explain it. It's very easy to drink because it's super balanced. It might it might be a little too much carbonation. So My, that's funny. I I didn't really. No. For me. It's like the first thing I taste, I feel like is bubbles, bubbles yeah. Mm. It's very good. Yeah, it's not like too acidic. We learned oh. about some acids when we were in the cider con. I don't taste any like harsh aftertaste or any off flavors, obviously. Blake's really well known and they make good cider, but. I can't wait till I can be able to identify what apples are in this. Yeah. That would be awesome. I don't think I'll ever get there. That's okay. I think, th I think there's five different apples I can taste. Okay. <laughs> it's not that on the can. It's a blend. But this is kind of how I env like vision our really good crisp cider to taste like. Like it, it's, you don't even have to like cider because it, it isn't harsh or it isn't like, you know, off-putting at all. 
Like if you're a sweet cider drinker, you can drink this. If you're a dry dry cider drinker, you can drink this. I would agree with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just very, um, I don't want to say bland because it's a very good, but there's nothing crazy that it's, stands it's out It's not too punching in uh -huh. any of the flavor characteristics. Mm -hmm. It's like you said before, it's very well balanced. The one thing, you said it's six and a half, right? That mm -hmm. could get, uh, that's dangerous. For I sure. was surprised. I did not think that, I've heard of Blake's a lot. I've especially heard of the Chavo spicy one. Yeah. Uh, but I did not realize that these were six and a half percent. Uh, I was surprised. Usually some of the semi-sweet to sweet ciders are a little bit lower in alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah. Yes, for a semi-sweet, man, it's pretty good. It even says it's more than half on the sweet side, but that's kind of where I like them. So overall, very pleased. It's very good. And I prefer a dry cider, and this is this is very drinkable. Yeah, can I have some more? Yes. We're finishing the can pretty quickly. We still have some left, but we are finishing it. Should we get to some questions? Sure. All right, as Rachel mentioned, these are the lightning round style of questions. So we're gonna kind of fire questions off at each other and see what happens. So the format's gonna be, we're gonna, like David's gonna ask a question, I'll answer, then he'll answer. Then I'll ask a question, we'll go back and forth, yep. just for fun. Um, and we didn't really work together at all on these questions, so it'll be kind of funny to see what our, what our answers are. Yeah, because you have your list and I have my list. Correct. Go ahead and start though. All right. What's your favorite sport? Basketball. Nice. Mine's football though. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite color? Silver. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is also going to be like, how well do we know each other? Uh, mine's blue. Oh, I thought it was something else. Black? Yeah. That's second. <laughs> um, where did you graduate high school? I went to Celine High School over by Ann Arbor area. You went there or you graduated? I graduated. Like, I went there from third grade up through high school. So I graduated from Saline High School. Okay. My story is a little bit different because I went to Anchor Bay High School, but Which I graduated. Great. That's over north of Detroit. Okay. But I graduated in Missouri mm. at O'Fallon West High School. Okay. See? So it's slightly different. Yeah, mine's not. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your dream? I can't read your handwriting. What is your dream car? Shelby GT 500 Mustang. Okay, mine is a old Chevy truck, like literally a truck similar to like when you is go it to a the can? kinda when you go to a cider place and they have like the um, bed has like wood on it and stuff. Just old, a very old Chevy <clears> truck. <throat> Red mm -hmm. is cool. I don't know what year, but I just want to like I don't even know how to drive a manual, but one of those trucks. That'd be sweet. A manual truck. I'd love to have a. Floor, what do they call that? Floor, floor stick, know. something? I'm gonna know. have them one day. I like it. What's your favorite TV show? Ooh, I like uh, murder shows. Just any murder show? Yeah, Forensic Files, uh, Case Files, Dateline, First 48, mm, all that stuff. You're weird. It's my favorite. My favorite is Smallville. Which I've never seen. And I own all 10 seasons. No, and I've never seen it. <laughs> okay. Sounds like we need to watch that. Maybe. <laughs> um, I don't, oh, what's the name of a song you've completely memorized? Jake Owen's Barefoot Blue Jean Night. I've karaoke it a few times too. Yeah, uh, we have that in common because I like country. Morgan Wallen's one of my favorite uh, singers right now. So I guess sand in my boots, you've heard me <laughs> sing like on repeat. I think if we are using our phones to pick a song, you always start with that song. Yeah, do one. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor in a cider? So it's more than just the apples in, in the cider. What's your favorite? Oh. Um. I like herbs. So when we went to Amoritas here, a local place, I really liked they had like a basil and lavender Basil cider. and blackberry, wasn't it? I don't know. But I really liked the basil. It, it The herbs give ciders a unique taste. So I'd say like herbs. Yeah. What about you? I'm the traditional cherry. Yeah, that's good but that you're up here. I like a, a dry cherry. I've had a sweet cherry and I've had a dry cherry and the dry cherry is just way better. Dry cherries, like they use, um, not tart cherries, they use- Black cherries? Like, yeah, yeah, black cherries. Sweet black cherries. cherries or something like that, yeah. yeah. 
How many siblings and where do you fall? How many siblings do I have? I have a twin brother and I'm like 30 seconds older than him. What about you? That's pretty cool. I have two younger sisters, so I'm the oldest. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite food? So we kind of talked about this one a little bit earlier. Mine all depends on the moment. Like right now, probably some tacos. But we eat tacos like three times a week. <laughs> I like tacos too. But the cool thing with tacos is you get chicken tacos, pork tacos, beef tacos, bean tacos. You can have fish tacos. Yeah, you can have tacos any way you want. We also joked about Taco Bell because Taco Bell has five ingredients and then they just exactly. serve them. That's my. That's, that's why they're so good. That's my beef with it. Like. <laughs> It's literally the same thing, just mixed together in a different way. Yeah, but if you order off the value meal or the dollar menu or whatever they call it nowadays, you get like all of those things in a bunch of different ways. I know, so there's just no point to me. Okay, um, what did you want to be when you grew up? I can't remember which came first, but at one point I wanted to be an architect, and then at another point I wanted to be an FBI agent. Okay. But then I grew into, I just wanted to be my own business okay. owner. I uh, was really big into basketball, like really big. Oh, so I wanted you. to be in the WNBA. Wow. That was pretty young. Like I had Diana Taurasi on my wall. <laughs> you know, I played That's basketball cool. was probably my first sport from third grade to high school. Uh, and I love it. I love watching it. You know, I, I'm obsessed with basketball. So I think there was a point where I did want to be in the NFL and play football, but yeah. I knew it was never going to happen. So I kind of. Shove that one up. For a minute there, I, I ran track in college. For a minute, I was going to be a dual sport athlete. Like, as my freshman year, I was going to like try out for the basketball team at Hillsdale College. You should have Just to do sweet. basketball as well, because that's how much I missed it and loved it. So. That would have been sweet. Yep. I can say, yeah, uh, I knew you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was never going to make it to the WNBA, but at least I could have done it in college as well. How tall are you? I'm five, five and a half. How tall are you? I'm six. Two and three quarters. I was sure you were gonna say six three. Um, what are you currently saving money for right now? I want to get a Nintendo Switch. Yep. But I'm really on the fence about spending money right now, so I don't know if I will or I will not. I'm selling some stuff on eBay, so I might use the eBay profits to get a Switch. Mine's a little more expensive. I want a treadmill, but. It's about to be nicer in the summer, yeah. so I'll run outside. But this winter, uh, our first winter in Traverse City, I don't own a treadmill. We're pretty far from like a gym, and I'm just a big baby, and I don't like to run outside unless it's at least 40 degrees. So I struggled this winter with not running at all. I mean, we work out and stuff, but I really love to run. So, it, you know, when things go well again and we're making money and things happen, I want to buy a treadmill. The funny thing is, that's kind of the same reason I don't want to get a switch right now because I know summer uh -huh. is right around the corner. And during the summer, I'm gonna to wanna to spend all the time outside, like oh. doing wood, working. You'll you know, be running with me, David. Doing the garden. Maybe we'll run a little bit. Yep. I'm we'll see. With or without you. Okay, uh, I think this is the last one. Are you an introvert or extrovert? Is there something in the middle? Yeah, because that's where I'm at too. I think, I think, I don't even know. I'm, I'm definitely in the middle because I can't, like, sit at home and do nothing all the time. I get very anxious. But there are times where I just get sick of everything and I just need time to myself. Yeah, I like hate talking on the phone. I've gotten better, I'm 30 years old and I'm still like not <laughs> wanting to talk to humans on the phone, but I do it. Cool. All right, let's do a quick update phase. What are we working on? What are some updates for our viewers? So we're kind of waiting on a bunch of communication stuff as far as the businesses go. And we're really close to launching Nomi Tours for what, two weeks away or something like that. So yep. that's right around the corner. We haven't done a ton with that. We're just kind of in the waiting game. But what we spent a lot of time on is home brewing. Yep. We've been making cider now for seven months or so. And we've started our 16th batch this week. Batch 12 and 13, which should come out here in the next couple of weeks, turned out pretty good. Very I think good. we have a staple cider, and we also got some new equipment, so we're going to be kegging. We have a 5-gallon keg and a 1.75 gallon keg, so a lot happening there. Yeah, and that means we can like force card 
and we don't have to necessarily just rely on sugars for mm -hmm. priming and that kind of thing. So yep. one of them's shaped like a cannonball. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I one. think it's called a cannonball. It's shiny and it's cool. It is. It is shiny. Um, what else? I don't think we have a ton else. This is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video, but one thing that we're trying to focus on right now is Michigan ciders. So for the next cider, um, if you guys have a really good Michigan brand that we have not tried yet, please let us know in the comments below. Um, we're gonna try to keep it as local as possible until you yeah. run out of them. Um, so yeah, please let us know. And then also if you have questions for us to answer in the next Nightcap video, please put that in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's episode. And then we will see you in next week's episode and next Thursday at 11 a.m. And remember, always follow your dreams.